Wednesday, May 16. Thank you all for tuning in. Much appreciated, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I have some 5G news for you guys coming from Verizon, a little bit from Sprint, mentioned from AT&T, and then some quickie little things that I've got, including a deal, a little bit of news from Samsung and uh, ZTE, and also the OnePlus 6. So in terms of 5G news, Verizon has announced that Los Angeles, California will be the second of four cities to receive fifth generation network deployment before 2019. Uh, so initially, they just announced that they've installed 36 million miles of fiber, hundreds of megahertz of bandwidth is now available, and a thousand active cell sites with the 5G technologies will be ready at the time of fifth generation deployment. So add that with Sacramento, California, which was previously announced, and Verizon looks like they're set to get things going here at the end of 2018. Now, in terms of the fixed versus mobile uh, 5G networks, uh, they were the CEO was asked if there was a reason for distinguishing the two. And he basically mentioned that they weren't going to have any difficulty integrating the two services together. Uh, he said the only limiting factor was pretty much that OEM devices aren't really ready. Verizon has been of the belief that, you know, why be in a rush to deploy the fifth generation networks when, you know, OEMs haven't been making hardware to use it. So I guess that's kind of been the, the limiting factor there. Uh, he also downplayed small cell deployment. Uh, basically said that you know he wanted to reduce the fifth generation network reliance on small cells, which is very different than what Sprint is kind of looking at. So uh, Verizon's focus is going to be millimeter wave spectrum, and it's all about fiber installs and capacity. That was his thing, he was stressing capacity of the network. AT&T has shown this as well. That's been their focus, investing and their planning and their, uh, their execution has all been towards millimeter wave spectrum and increasing capacity for fifth generation networks. Now in terms of Sprint, they also made an announcement. They're gonna be including Phoenix, Kansas City, and New York City as their uh, some of their first testing, or some of their first fifth generation deployment markets in 2019. Didn't say exactly when in 2019, and they also said that they're not gonna be the first three sites, but they did say that they would be in part of the initial rollout. So. Uh, now you could throw those three cities in with Los Angeles, Houston, Chicago, Dallas, Atlanta, and Washington, D.C. Now, in terms of AT&T, their first network uh, rollouts for fifth generation is going to be Atlanta, Waco, and Dallas, Texas, were some of the identified cities. So a lot of action in these places. Very excited. I'm sure some of you that live in these regions will be excited to get your hands on some of that uh, usage and see what it's like. Uh, so... Keep us posted here on the channel if you guys are noticing anything in those cities in terms of fiber installs or any actions in terms of hardware installs or anything like that. So that's it for 5G generation, 5G network generation stuff. Uh, I'm going to jump in with some quickies. One plus six was announced. Uh, looks like the pricing is pretty good. 529 for um, six gigs of RAM and 64 gigabyte storage versions. Uh, there's one that's... Uh, $579, that gives you 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and 629 gets you, I think, the 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Now, in terms of compatibility, you are restricted to T-Mobile and AT&T and their similar MVNOs. Uh, this device does pack the Snapdragon 845, two uh, rear-facing cameras, 18 by 9 aspect ratio. It's kind of got that you know full-length display, edge-to-edge uh, -edge display. It does have a notch like the iPhone 10. Uh, it's an all-glass design, front and back. So um, something interesting about OnePlus 6, I really can't say you know, that I can recommend this device to anybody because it is restricted to T-Mobile, AT&T, and their MVNOs. So even though it does support band 2, 4, and 5, it doesn't support band 13 on Verizon, which is really important. That's their, that's their 700 megahertz uh, band, which Verizon also won't certify it, uh, so they won't let it run on their network. Uh, and in terms of Sprint, it does have band 25 and 26, but it doesn't have band 41. And of course, Sprint won't certify it either. So it is available Tuesday, May 22nd in North America, Europe, and Asia. I think in Asia, it's starting with India and China. So if that's something that you can deal with, T-Mobile or AT&T compatibility, uh, that's there. It's a great, looks like an awesome phone. ZTE looks to be making a comeback. Uh, Don Trump is working with China to potentially get ZTE back on track, get them operating in business. He seemed really compassionate, I'll put that in quotations, for the employees of ZTE and worrying about their jobs. Um, you know, meanwhile, ZTE was making plans to make purchases uh, for 
you know, uh, Samsung Exynos chips, MediaTek chips, you know, since they were kind of excluded from business with Qualcomm and buying their Snapdragon processors. Uh, so I'll keep you guys posted if you're interested in that. I'm definitely following that story because I know ZT wants to release a 5G ready phone in quarter one of 2019. So I'll keep you posted on that. In terms of deals, 50% off lease plans at Sprint. Uh, S9, S9 Plus, S8, and S8 Active are all included in that deal. Check it out if you're interested. And Samsung's in-display fingerprint scanner technology. Do not expect it in the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. A lot of experts are saying expect it in the S10, which means next year around this time, you know, Samsung S10 will probably have that. Uh, there's been a supply issue, a lot of testing and technology uh, and trials and reliability. We're kind of holding it up. So now that it looks like production is kind of getting going. We may have those for the S10, but probably not the Note 9. So that's all for this video, guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section below anything that uh, was of interest to you, anything that uh, you were intrigued by. Uh, please take the time to rate the video and share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. This is Steve from Steve Mobile Tech, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.